Uh, the mission of this uh, particular research is trying to conserve uh, irrigation water applied to turf grass systems. Practicing good water conservation also uh, helps to preserve water uh, quality because uh, water conservation uh, means we can re minimize and also reduce uh, leaching rates and by doing so we can prevent uh, leaching of uh, fertilizer, nitrates and also pesticides into uh, groundwater. So good water conservation is about preserving water quality but also conserving water applied to uh, turf grass uh, systems. One of the most effective ways of irrigating turf is to irrigate uh, according to evapotranspiration. And evapotranspiration is just simply the sum total of evaporative water loss from the soil surface and transpiration of water loss that occurs through associated leaf surfaces. Hence, it's called evapotranspiration or turf grass uh, ET. As an alternative method for trying to predict ET, loss from turf grass um, system, is to try to uh, predict ET using climatic data, weather uh, data. The problem with uh, these predictions, and these are referred to as reference ET values, is that these uh, predictions tend to overestimate actual ET. And by overestimating, they tend to promote leaching, and also they tend to promote uh, waste. This is our uh, weighing light simeter, which is used to measure evapotranspiration, actual light ET, uh, as a comparison to uh, reference ET values, which are derived from climatic data from weather station. These are installed in the uh, middle of the plots, and because we're trying to uh, get a good estimate of crop coefficients, this needs to be taken into uh, account when we're trying to determine the most efficient crop coefficients for recreational uh, turf. In each of those uh, plots, we have these uh, lysimeters. And, and this is how we measure actual ET, evapotranspiration. So essentially how we do this, we bring these uh, root zones up to field capacity, which is the max amount of water that root zone can hold. Then we measure the weight loss over a 24 hour period. And that weight loss difference between day one and 24 hours later, that's how much water that was lost as the dapple transpiration. And that's how you measure actual ET in turf grass. Turf grass ET is affected by a number of factors other than adaptive demand factors such as relative humidity, uh, wind speed, turbulence, and the amount of soil radiation hitting uh, the surface, as well as uh, air temperatures all influence uh, ET, but also ET can be influenced in a positive or, ne or negative way through cultural intensity. So as nitrogen increases, typically evapotranspiration rates from uh, turf grass increase, but also as height of cut increases, uh, so too does uh, evapotranspiration. So ET, actual ET from mini lysimeters are affected by the species, the cultivar, but also by the level of, uh, of culture. And because we're trying to uh, get a good estimate of crop coefficients, this needs to be taken into uh, account when we're trying to determine the most efficient crop coefficients for recreational uh, turf. These three species, creeping bent, Kentucky bluegrass, and also perennial ryegrass, are being maintained at two levels of nitrogen, a high and low, two pounds and four pounds of total nitrogen per thousand per year, and also be maintained at two levels of high to cut, low and high. In the case of uh, the bent grasses, they're being maintained at fairway height, two eighths of an inch, and also at Green's height, 530 seconds. While the sports grass, Kentucky blue and perennial eye grass, are being maintained at high height of cut two and a half inches, and also a low height of cut one and a quarter inches. These levels of cultural intensity, height of cut and also nitrogen, are typical of the low end and also high end of recreational turf, both golf and also sports grass. And this is going to be uh, conducted over the next three years. We're going to be taking, uh, determining uh, monthly crop coefficients derived from actual ET and reference ET values to help the uh, turf practitioner to apply water more intelligently and in the end to try to conserve water and also maintain functional sports grass and also golf course uh, turf.